care for our planet and a sustainability-based way of thinking have led us to search for ever more efficient resources which would not be detrimental to the environment but would be widely accepted and create better living conditions. A resource-efficient Europe, which would use different kinds of waste as resources, is one of the targets which has been established by the EU and should be realized by the year 2020. In the field of construction and demolition waste, a target of 70% recycling by the year 2020 has been set as a concrete goal. It should be pointed out that construction and demolition waste, which occurs during the construction, renewal and demolition of buildings, is one of the most voluminous waste streams. It consists of materials of many types, although mainly of mineral-based waste, brick, concrete and stone, metals, wood, insulation materials and plastic. Construction and demolition waste may include hazardous substances such as asbestos, polychlorinated biphenyl, mineral oils and paint. So it is necessary that before the start of demolition works, a preliminary evaluation of every such building should be performed and hazardous substances first removed. Demolition work must be carried out in the reverse order to that in which the building was built, according to suitably prepared demolition and waste management plans. Selectively demolished and properly separated materials can then be processed into recycled aggregates for in situ placing, e.g. for fill and embankments. Or they can be taken away by an authorized collector processor. The usual on-site processing methods are the following. Primary screening, crushing and the removal of steel reinforcement and then secondary screening of the waste into individual fractions of recycled aggregate. In the case of the recycling of construction and demolition waste, it is also important that the material is kept adequately moist in order to prevent air pollution by particles, particularly those with sizes of less than 10 micrometers. The processing of selected construction and demolition waste is equivalent to the production of new building materials to which the presently valid building regulations, in other words the EU construction product regulation, apply. Construction is almost a bottomless pit for raw materials so that the use of recycled waste could greatly contribute to the more sustainable management of resources. The use of recycled waste reduces emissions, saves energy and conserves natural resources. From the viewpoint of the legislation on construction products, there is no difference between construction products obtained from waste and those obtained from natural raw materials. It is only the final properties of the products, taking into account their intended use, which are important. The European legislation also calls for the sustainable use of natural resources, which is one of the essential requirements for construction works in the new EU regulations for the marketing of construction products. The most common construction products that are made from waste are recycled aggregates, which are one of the basic materials used in the construction industry. In the case of concrete, the share of aggregates is approximately 80% of their volume, whereas it is 90% in the case of asphalts and 100% in the case of unbound layers. Natural aggregates account for 95% of the current global consumption of aggregates, whereas alternative aggregates, recycled and manufactured, account for 5%, so the possibilities for increasing the proportion of the latter are good. The properties of recycled aggregates are determined today according to the same technical specifications as those used for natural aggregates. Today, recycled aggregates are most commonly used for unbound load-bearing courses, fill and embankments. They are particularly suited to large engineering works such as flood or noise protection embankments. If properly selected and homogeneous, recycled aggregates may also be incorporated in products with higher safety requirements, such as concrete. Experts in the field of concrete are now trying to develop so-called green concretes, 
especially because of the large greenhouse gas emissions and high energy consumption which occur in cement production. Their sustainability could be increased with the use of recycled aggregates. Those of us who are involved in the Rebirth project have united in the aim of making people more aware about the good possibilities for the recycling of industrial and building waste. Experts from various fields are, by means of various practical demonstrations of the use of industrial and building waste, including lectures and workshops, making significant efforts to achieve a higher degree of recycling, which means that our planet will have a brighter and greener future.